Welcome back to the uh, videos for the SAP navigation. We're going to cover step three and step four of the navigation right now. Um, you'll see on your PDF uh, customizing the local layout is step three. And you can go through and you can try to customize your layout, uh, customize those, the way it looks and everything. Um, it's not going to change anything for you. Uh, however, there are people that like to go in and customize their screen. and. Um, like I said, you, you can go in and see what you move things around if you want. However, you, you're not required to. So you can just skip uh, step three uh, as you move through. It's just there to help you if you if you want to see what's happening. However, step four is the step that I'm much more concerned with for you because this is this is the way that people in, uh, in industry really work SAP, and that is to set up favorites. Um, and there are a lot of different ways to set up favorites in SAP. I'll run over a few of them real quick with you just to, to give you an idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the SAP screen. If you scroll all the way up to the very top, you'll see your favorites are on the, this top left side. Um, easy to see the favorites, easy to see how uh, things could be, um, where you would be able to put things in and, and navigate from here. Because if they're in your favorites, you can just double click on them and go directly where you want to go to. Uh, you can also add to your favorites by, let's say, changing a purchase order is something that you like to do, or, or that you do often, rather. If you left-click it and it highlights, you can just go up to the main toolbar here and click Add to Favorites, and it adds it to you. Um, double left-click it, and when you double left-click it, it actually goes in, and now it shows, hey, here's, here's that screen. So instead of going through the entire process of going through and getting to this area um, you can actually add it to your favorites and and things are taken care of um, also if you right click on it um, it brings up this toolbar you can change favorites and under change favorites you can go in and so instead of having this big long explanation you can just switch it over to change a purchase order um, and you can type in whatever else you want to click continue and now it's added there as a uh, uh, a different item for you so you can add that you can also while you have it left click you can go up and delete favorites and it pulls it off of there um, and that uh, gets rid of it Another way you can add to favorites, if you come down here to display um, or any of these actual transactions, left click it, you can actually just take and drag it up into your favorites uh, and move it in that way uh, as uh, another way to put it in. Then the last way that I'm going to show you to add favorites with all of this, uh, again, we've shown how to do add, we've shown delete, we've shown drag and drop. But if you come over and left click on more and come down to favorites, you can add here, you can change here, you can move things here, delete it. You can also add other objects here. So left click on add other objects. Comes up with a big list of things that you can actually do in here. Different items that you can go in and, uh, and add. Uh, right now I just want you to double left click on uh, web address and let's put in SAP SAP it doesn't want to change it now for me We'll just, I'll change that in just a second. Let's see if we can get in the um, help.sap.com as a website. Let's see if this is finally going to let me change out the title. It won't right now, but you can change your title. You click on continue. And it put in exactly what I said to, for it. Uh, to, to put on just a regular S, um, but you get the you get the point there that you can go in and 
put in your own link and if you double click on it now it's going to actually take you to the website so that's the way to run through favorites and uh, hopefully that'll get you moving all right take care